All right, guys, so we have the bike right sitting right about 50%. I'm going to plug it into my EcoFlow. I'm carrying my RV. It's connected to my solar. We can see this right here. Let me just turn on this remote. What we're seeing right now, it's not very sunny. The sun's going in and out under the clouds. I'm getting right around 78 watts coming in. And it will go all the way up to three, 400. So it's charging off solar. And this is where my solar is coming in off my RV into the EcoFlow. So since this is being charged by solar, you see I'm getting right around 77 watts. It should go all the way up to three, 400. We are at 85%. I'm going to use this power, this solar power, to charge the Aventon Cinch. All right, let me plug it in and then we'll see what we're getting. So I have the plug. It's connected to my EcoFlow Delta Pro. Come over here. I already opened this right here. We're just going to connect it right there. The box turned red. See, now I'm pulling. 165 so it takes right around 165 watts to charge it and we'll see how long it takes to get us to 100 percent so i'm getting right around one day even if i'm charging so that should be perfectly easy so if you guys want to take this camping with you and you're boondocking somewhere where you have no power you can charge it off your ecoflow delta pro using your solar panel to recharge the delta pro but you have unlimited charge up to 40 miles on this thing so it's going to be so much easier to get around so once it's charged i'll do the overview and i'll get you all the stats you need to know about the cinch all right so we're going to charge it using solar power okay guys we started the test right around 11 o'clock so we're going to see exactly how long it takes to get this thing up to 100 percent we're right at 50%, so we'll see. Once the test is over, you can see I'm pulling right around 167, and I'm getting 120 in. It just went up to like 280, but it's real cloudy today. We're up to 406 and 168 going to the bike. So we're going to be charging and charging the bike at the same time. Okay guys, while the bike is charging and I think it's going to go charge real fast because we're getting up to 400 and 168 to the bike let me tell you a few things i love about this bike first thing i love the fat tire because when you're riding it in grass or sand that's going to help instead of having a small skinny tire the fat tire is going to help you get some traction and stay above what you're going through i love the seat real nice and big comfortable the display i installed the two reflectors white in the front and red in the back it goes right under the seat make sure you get that in there foldable pedals so storing help the little stand on the bottom so you could keep it up upright when you uh it's folded that's pretty cool disc brakes real nice thick disc brakes front and back we have a 20 mile per hour 48 volt 672 watt hour battery and a 500 watt brushless hub motor right there propel this thing up to 20 miles per hour we have the the forks in the front you can preload 
Make it a little tighter if you want to. Seven speed right here. You could control while you're riding. And I like the fact that it has this instead of the uh, twist. I don't want to be worried about twisting while I'm riding. If you're somewhere rough, you could accidentally twist this. You have a little bit more control with the thumb. That's pre pretty cool. And if you're doing the assist, you can actually just, inst uh, you have one to five on the assist, the pedal assist. And that's the way I like. I love the pedal assist because you just set where you want. You pedal and it just assists you as you go. Your brakes. Everything is just so nice on this thing. Can't wait when I take it out camping and I can show you guys a full ride. There's your folding lever right there. You just open this and fold the bike. And then this one right here, fold the handlebar down. Hey guys, just a quick overview. Let it charge. Once it get up to 100%, I'll do a quick ride and tell you guys what I think about it. All right, guys, it's been an hour and a half and I've been letting it charge. As you can see, we started the battery was at 85%. Now it's at 88%. So most of the power is coming straight from the solar panel. And a little of it is going to the uh, EcoFlow recharging. But you can see it's we're getting right at 470, 480. I've seen it go up to 510. And the same 140 going to the, the bike. Okay, I'm going to disconnect it. Let's see where this is. Let's turn it on. All right, there you go. We're fully charged. So we got from 50 to 100 in an hour and a half. So you can use your EcoFlow to fully charge your Venton. Okay, guys, now comes the fun part. I'm going to take it for a short spin and see what it does. All right. All right, guys, so we fully charged. Everything is fully charged. Looking real good. Let's just get this covered. There you go. I'm going to take it for a short spin. Benton. Bench. All right, guys. I'm in uh, first gear, just doing no assist, like a regular bike. Doing right about seven, eight miles per hour in first gear. I'm going to switch to second gear. Real nice. I'll turn on one assist. Oh, man. This is awesome. Doing 10 miles per hour. Click up the third gear, fourth, there you go. Third gear, I like it, one assist. I'm not doing too much work. All right, guys, thanks for watching this quick video. But now we know that we can charge it off solar using our portable power station. So you don't have to worry about when you go boondocking, you can't charge this thing off your generator or power, portable power station. The Everton Cinch, love it. Foldable bike. Can't wait to take it camping with me. Guys, thanks for watching this video. Stay tuned for the next video. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Bye.